How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are summoning for the new crossover that has came to the game that has some interesting characters. So first off, before we get into it, let's talk about the banners and then we can do our summon, see if you can pull this character. So first off, we got the step up summon, which the step up summon is not a guaranteed banner unit. Uh, but if you guys look, it says a uh, unit uh, that is a five star guaranteed. So it's just a unit. It's not a boss over one. So if you guys gonna go for the step up just know it's not gonna be a guaranteed one other than that we have uh sankuro other than that we have sonraku we have uh i i i i don't know if i can say this name correctly even though i've watched the anime um i don't remember the name correctly but saigir saiger saiger Tiger Zero, I think. I think I'm saying it right. Okay. We have this character and uh, Sunraku. And we have 50 gems right now that we can spend on this character. But I want you guys to tell me if these characters are completely worth it for uh, summoning or like going deep on or not. I know Tiger uh, Zero is not going to be uh, one of the top things i should be going for i know it's some raku and the purple hair girl from the next panel that's going to be coming these are these two are the characters you should be looking out for uh, as i heard but if you guys get the other character that is still fine as well but i i still have to check with some people if these banners are actually have to summon uh, i don't know if this is a must summon or not i don't think it is but uh it's a good banner so for example some raku is a good replacement for eins if you guys don't have Eins, um, and I think the others are kind of nukers. I think she, uh, uh, she is a nuker, and the the guy who plays as that fire character uh that looks like a woman uh that is a woman in the game i mean a guy is playing that character so i think that's a nuker as well i believe but don't count me on it i still haven't read anything about these characters so let's just do a summon and see if we can pull any of them i want some rock we're not gonna lie but we will see if we can pull it right here got a little bit of loading screen right there there's a little bit of hope the gold touch no crocs at all let's see if we can pull a ganon right here uh, no animations at all wow it's crazy no lightning nothing at all um that is that is quite sad that's quite sad can we get a character without any animations because i've seen someone actually pull something like that and kind of got me like hopeful you know what i'm saying but let's see nope all right okay all right just uh just gave myself hope, hope for nothing Let's see if we can have some tickets right here so we can uh get yeah yep yeah, we do we do we do there we go actually the crazy part is if you guys go to the uh, mission you will see this event is actually a luck event uh i don't know if it's the same in jp or not but these characters can be apparently uh luck leveled up which is crazy so if you guys get this uh six star units right here i believe these are the first six star units that are able to get locked uh up to 120 i believe this is the first crossover uh six star units which are able to get to six uh, uh 120 lock but yeah and as that is insane i didn't i didn't know that i actually i after i went to exchange my ticket i saw that i was like oh cool i did not know that so let's do it at a real uh a ticket real quick see if you can pull anyone here you have two chances right now i actually haven't far more tickets but i will later on but i just wanted to get the video out of the way so let's see a gold touch right here no croc no animation at all no lightning that is sad okay we got nothing from here another thing is m m uh, people might go for alk uh for this banner the alk summon of this banner but i do not recommend it if you guys are trying to go for alk because first off star god laser will be the next uh update most likely like like this is a this is a highly highly chance of star galiza being the next banner that comes in the, the game other than the part two of this i think <laughs> so you guys have to watch out for that so i don't think it's a good idea for you guys to go 
deep on alk on this banner at all because you guys don't want to miss stark at lisa but if you want to get some like you know replacement for eyes if you didn't get eyes or something like that you still can go for it but watch out for those alks because if they go down all the way i don't think you'll be having a good chance to get started at lisa because as the star guard lisa banner for alk i believe it's going to be like a step up one where it goes from 5,000, 8,000, then 15,000, and then the 15,000 you get a guaranteed on the banner, and it's it stays at 15,000, I believe. And you can continue uh, doing ALK on the 15,000 and hopefully you can get the start of laser from there. But yeah, other than that, don't waste your ALK right now. I just highly, highly uh, regret it. You, you will highly regret it if you do that. So don't do that and save up for now so we can see what we can do to get these characters. But other than that, let me know if you guys want me to summon on these with like paid gems, uh, if it's worth it or not. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.